Hi everyone. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video showing something here. Red's rhetoric uh, got into a discussion with a flat earther a while back on Twitter, which I'm still gonna call Twitter. Uh, and uh, he asked for a little bit of a favor and I'm going to oblige him. Uh, here we go. Uh, he wants people with uh, 3D modeling uh, skills to show something and someone already has, but uh, I figured he also asked for a universe sandbox version and that I can do. So apparently this flurf thinks that he can debunk everything by saying that apparently uh, this is supposed to be the shadow of the moon on this you know the earth rise image uh, and because that's impossible that that proves that this image is fake or something like that clearly this is a person who doesn't understand the model he's arguing against because he's a flat earther and therefore an idiot uh, but one way to show a bit of understanding of what it is we are actually claiming uh, would be to model this in 3D and I absolutely agree so let's let's do that I have made a model here uh, of the earth the moon and the sun in um, universe sandbox and this is roughly to scale but the scale doesn't really matter for the purpose of this demonstration so um, what you can see here is here is the Sun that's that bright thing in the sky here is the earth that's that thing you're living on that you claim is a flat disk it's not uh, but what you'll notice is that the side that is facing the sun is illuminated. The side that is not facing the sun is dark. Because that's where it's night. That's how day and night works. You see, uh, the earth rotates. Uh, time is frozen in this simulation. But if I start time, you can see that, well, not only does it move, I'm going to keep the camera fixed to the earth. You can also see that it rotates. Now the camera is moving along with with the moving earth uh, so you can see it rotates and the side that is facing the sun that's where it's day okay if you don't believe this what i suggest you do is you take a ball and a flashlight into a like a, a dark field outside somewhere where the light from the flashlight isn't going to reflect on anything uh, and you can just illuminate one side of the ball by putting the flashlight over here so it shines on this side and you'll notice that the other side is dark that's because the object is not transparent so it actually blocks the light basically this is the earth's shadow on itself is one way of putting it the earth is getting in the way of the sunlight so that only the side facing the earth is illuminated this shouldn't be hard to understand but you have a hard time understanding everything so i have to explain things like that now the moon is also roughly spherical so it has the exact same property the side that is facing the light is lit up the side that isn't well it's dark very simple now, if you look at the moon like this, it looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? I mean, when we can only see half of it. And if it's over here, if you're looking at it from this perspective, as if it were located here, I mean, the moon orbits the Earth, so eventually it's going to be over here, and then we will see it like this. And when it's over here, we'll see it as if all the sunlight is hitting the far side see Th this shouldn't be complicated that's why the moon has phases if you're looking at the earth from the moon it has phases too it depends on from where in the moon's orbit you are looking at the earth and right now you can see approximately half the earth from the moon this side is where it's day this side is where it's night if you don't understand why again they are located like this and the Sun 
is over there. Shouldn't be hard to understand, but I mean, you're flat earthers. I know there are a lot of things you don't understand. Now, let's recreate the Earthrise image by just tilting the camera. And we crawl in here. Let's remove the orbits because they're just in the program. You can't really see those. You see? This is the night side of the Earth. It's not the moon's shadow. No one is claiming that it is. The moon's shadow falls in this direction because the light source is over in this direction. Okay? Before you come up with this crazy idea of, hey, here's this thing that disproves everything we've been taught, at least learn what it is we've been taught so that you know if what's shown is compatible with it or not. You're not pointing out an internal inconsistency, you're just pointing out your own stupidity. See ya.